Okay, we're, I'm sitting right now in uh, Hacienda La Cruz, which is where I have the nursery. And I started the tree nursery, pine tree nursery, in 1993. And basically what I did is I sold trees to the state government. That's the way I started. In 94, I started selling to other state governments. And 95, 96, 97, I kept selling to different states and I sold a lot of trees to lumber mills because lumber mills, uh, when they extract wood, they have to replant trees. So a lot of my clients basically were people that had lumber mills. In 1997, I was convinced to go visit the monarch butterfly, which I was really not interested in. I was interested in my area and in starting commercial plantations. In other words, I tried to talk with all these lumbermen that had the sawmills to stop exploiting the natural forest and plant their own forests to be harvested 15 to 20 years later. So basically the monarchs were not of interest to me. But I had several friends that were foresters, engineers, and they kept saying, you should go visit you know, the monarchs. It's a beautiful spectacle and you, know, the, you, the, you should just go visit it. And finally I did go visit. And when I got there, I was, you know, I lost my breath because the mountains there go up to 10, 11,000 feet and they were just stripped, totally stripped. And then there were just tiny little plots of land that, uh, that was once forest, very old forest, of course. And they turned them into oats and corn. And the corn grew about this big. And the oats were about this high. So, you know, it was just ridiculous. It was more, you know, the, the labor cost and uh, then what they harvested. So about a year later, I met uh, by chance a Bob Small in Pasquero. And I said, I have this idea. I want to start a nonprofit, you know, and I don't know how to go about it. And uh, he seemed interested. This was at lunch. And then I ran into him a bit later in the same town in Pasquero. I said, you know, if you're really interested, come to my house and I invite you to lunch and we'll talk about it. So he came with his wife, DJ, and uh, when he left after lunch, we ate trout. I had a trout farm then. And uh, he says, I'm going to help you. So he left, went back to California, and he spoke to Lincoln Brower about reforesting and starting a nonprofit. Lincoln said, it's a great idea. And zap, you know, we started a nonprofit. And I went up there and with the truckload. I think I had 20,000 trees, 20 or 30,000 trees in a truckload the first year, and I convinced three people to stop planting oats and corn and to plant these forests. And that was the beginning. Because of that, those three people, I was interviewed by Carol Yoon in the New York Times. She writes, she writes the science page of the New York Times. And an article came out about my reforestation in 1997, and immediately after that, I got two big donors and this took off. And now it's 23 years later and I planted millions of trees and we're still going. The strategy is to replant, reforest uh, pieces of land, plots, small plots of land that were once forests and are agricultural to turn them back into forests. Now, these are isolated plots, you know, they're small plots. Each owner has maybe a hectare or two hectares. So it's very difficult for them to get trees. But when they found, when I found them and I convinced them, it was very simple because the neighbors saw that the trees were doing so well. And so the next plot of land wanted to do the same. And instead of being islands, they became these huge plots of forest. Okay, why do this? I'll explain to you. This is their private piece of land. So if they have a child that's ill, they can go cut a tree and sell it. Now these people cook with wood, they build houses with wood, they do everything with wood, right? So by having their own plots that were transformed from farmland into forest, they have no need to go into the natural forest. And the natural forest is where the monarchs overwinter. The natural forest is where you have all the flora and the fauna and all the birds and the plants, okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking pressure off the natural forest by giving them 
the opportunity to plant trees on their plots of land.